Oh, hi, I'm Andre, a solution engineer at PDFtron. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get started with PDFtron's Node.js SDK. Let's jump in. So first things first, what I want to do is go ahead and create a new folder where we're going to create our project. So let's go ahead, I'm going to call it node, uh, place it anywhere, and let's open it up inside of VS Code. I'm just going to open up a new window. And we're going to go open a folder that we just created. Okay, awesome. So inside of it, I'm going to open up my terminal. And inside of the terminal, I'm just going to type in um, npm init. And what this command will do is create a new project. Okay, perfect. So I don't really care about any of those settings at the moment. So we're just going to go ahead and call it node, version one, description is fine. Entry point is going to be index.js, test command, git repository, keywords, author, license, everything looks good. Okay, great, let's create. So now we created a brand new node project. So inside of it, uh, let's go ahead and create a new file. We're going to call it index.js. That's what we said the entry point is going to be. Uh, and now we're actually going to go ahead and install the PDFnet node. So I'm going to type in npm i at pdftron uh, pdfnet node, hit enter, and it will download all the necessary dependencies. I think you can see it downloaded all the necessary node module and dependencies. Uh, we can take a look under at pdftron pdfnet node. You can actually find tons of uh, really helpful samples right here. For example, how to convert HTML to PDF, how to convert Office documents to PDF, um, and perform a number of other functionality with the PDFs uh, on Node.js. For example, splitting, merging, uh, and converting. So for this sample, what I want to do is just simply generate a brand new PDF with nothing inside of it. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and require PDFnet. I'm going to destructure it from the export that we get. Require and inside of here, perfect. At PDF from PDFnet node. Let's create a function that we're going to run. I'm just going to call it main. Uh, it's going to be an async function and with no parameters inside of it. And what it will do is first create a new document. So let's call it doc and uh, we will call our pdfnet uh, pdf doc library and call create and then the next thing we want to create a brand new page so we'll say await pdfnet oh uh, await doc page dot create and let's push it onto our doc so we're just going to say page push back and then pass in the page we just created and then we're going to save it as a blank PDF and we're also going to save it with an option so PDF. And I really like linearize. So what save option linearized is that it get, provides us with an ability to later stream the document uh, to our client side. So instead of for the whole document to download, this save option allows us to stream it very similar to a video. So right now you're watching this video and instead of waiting for the whole video to download first, you actually start streaming it or buffering as the chunks coming in. So we can do same thing with PDF pages, very similar. Uh, with the linearized option. Again, if you want to learn more about linearization, I'm going to post a link in the description of the video. So now I actually want to run this command and we're going to call pdfnet run with cleanup. We're going to pass in the main function and then we're going to catch any of the errors and we're just going to pass in an error callback. And then we can console log that error if anything goes wrong. Otherwise, we can just await uh, that promise and then pass in a callback for success. Okay, and then here we can. So after we kind of completed using PDFnet, we can successfully shut it down. 
just so we don't use up any of the resources. Okay, great, this looks good to me. So let's type in node index.js and let's see what happens. Ah, perfect, and it's completed. And as you can see here, um, it created a blank PDF. We can take a look and open it up uh, with our reader. And as you can see, it created a blank PDF inside of it. Now, this is just a video to help you get started with the PDFNet library. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is gonna actually show you some of the useful examples. For example, how to generate uh, PDF templates like invoices with data inside of them, how to convert HTML to PDF, uh, how to generate thumbnails for a PDF and convert from MS Office uh, to PDF as well. Now, to ensure that you stay tuned to all the videos coming out on our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.